the Biden family. Joe Biden's been in government forever. Let me ask you a question on this, Peter Schweitzer. Did the communist Chinese regime make it part of their mission to invest in the Biden family, knowing full well that Joe Biden was a longtime career politician with lots of influence? I think there's no question, Mark. Uh, and look, uh, we spent more than a year investigating red handed. Uh, and one of the most startling things we uncovered is the simple fact that the Biden family, while he was vice president of the United States and continuing when he became president, uh, received some $31 million from Chinese uh, individuals who are linked to the highest levels of Chinese intelligence. $31 million. Whoa. Yep. Yep. $31 million. Uh, and these deals, uh, which we lay out in the book, um, were carried out by a couple of individuals. Uh, one is a guy named Che Feng. Uh, Hunter Biden in the Hunter Biden emails refers to him as the super chairman. That's kind of his nickname for him. Uh, and he says in one email, I don't believe in the lottery anymore, but I believe in the super chairman. Now, who is Che Feng? He's kind of this sketchy uh, Chinese uh, businessman. His business partner at the time that he was striking deals with Hunter Biden, his business partner was the vice minister at the Ministry for State Security. Um, he was in charge of, among other things, recruiting foreign nationals to spy for China. He was the head of something called the Number 8 Bureau. Um, it doesn't get any higher than that. Uh, these are the sorts of individuals that were striking deals with Hunter Biden. Um, in this particular case, Che Feng happened, happened to help a $20 million deal be secured. Uh, another individual that helped arrange that deal uh, uh, is a guy named Mr. Zhao. Uh, Mr. Zhao helped with that $20 million deal. He also sent $5 million to Hunter Biden. Uh, and he sent that money from a very interesting business called Harvest Global. So you have Mr. Zhao sending $5 million. Who's his business partner, Mark? His business partner is the daughter of the former head of the Ministry of State Security. This is the guy who runs the entire spy apparatus for China. Um, again, it does not get any higher than that. So what this means, Mark, is that in total, the Biden family got $31 million. They performed no discernible legitimate business activities as I can find for that $31 million. And it all, every single deal came from individuals tied at the highest levels to the Chinese intelligence apparatus. So there's no question in my mind that they were targeted by the Chinese. Uh, and for the life of me, Mark, this is unprecedented. I don't know of a time in American history where the American first family uh, has had this kind of a financial bond with a foreign intelligence service, particularly a foreign intelligence service that wants to uh, defeat the United States in global competition.